Hi, in this video lecture, let's design the serial ladder with JK flip flop. This is the block diagram of the serial ladder when we had used D flip flop. And we use the D flip flop to store the carry result of the full ladder, which can be supplied to the addition of next higher order bit. So the problem is serial addition. So we are going to add only one bit of both the operands along with the carry, possibly the carry. So we have two inputs x, y and carry which, which will be stored and supplied to the next higher order bit addition. So these two are going to be external inputs and there is one state to store the carry bit. So we will follow the regular steps in designing synchronous sequential circuit. There is one state to store the carry and two external inputs and we have all possible combination of zeros and ones for the present state and inputs from 0, 0, 0 to 1, 1, 1. And the next state is going to store the carry of the addition of these three bits that is the present state and two external inputs and sum is the output this is going to be the truth table for the full ladder circuit this is the carry and this is the sum and we know how to perform 3 bit addition and once we have got this binary coded state table then we can form the flip flop input using the excitation table of JK flip flop using the present state and the next state since both are same we will supply 0x for j and k and when we get 0 for the present state and 1 for the next state we will supply 1x for j and k respectively. Similarly we can use the excitation table of jk flip flop and get the flip flop inputs for j and k. Then we can use three variable Carnot map Q, X and Y and then we can find the simplified expression for J and K. J will be X, Y because we have the don't cast as well. So we can combine the don't cast with this one and then we can get the expression to be X, Y. Similarly, we can combine this one for k with the don't cast and the simplified expression will be x bar y bar. Since this is x y and this is x bar y bar, we can write this in max term notation and this will become x or y the whole complement. And we know the expression for the sum for a full ladder this is x x r with y x r with the carry which we have stored in q this we can directly now implement we will use the shift register a to store x and shift register b is going to store y and x will be supplied to the xr gate y will also be supplied to so this line is x this line is y and the carry that is coming out will also be supplied to s so this is going to be q which is the carry bit which will give you the sum and that is fed back to the shift register a and the input to j flip flop is x y we get x here, we get y here, we supply x, y here and then x comes here, y comes here. So x plus y, 
the whole bar comes here for j the clock that is driving the flip flop will be the same clock that is used to drive the shift registers as well we have the shift control and the system clock supplied to the and gate and that is what is driving both the shift registers as well as the jk flip flop so this is the circuit for performing serial addition using jk flip flop